The coronavirus shutdowns come at a horrible time for the hospitality and tourism industry here in New Orleans. Most servers, bartenders, tour guides, hotel staff, performers and drivers thought they'd have at least another few months of the busy season before the summer heat settles in. Now tens of thousands of people are virtually unemployed and some are facing exceptional challenges. Empty tables, stacked chairs and padlocks on front doors. For each closed sign on a restaurant or bar in New Orleans, there are around a dozen people like server Christy Patton. Most of us aren't qualifying for unemployment. Most of us aren't getting half of what we made if we do. And we don't have health insurance anymore. We don't have anything to fall back on. Patton picked up her last paycheck Friday. She and at least 80,000 hospitality workers in New Orleans had the rug pulled out from underneath them this week. But for Patton, there's an exceptional challenge. Her four and a half year old daughter, Maya, is fighting leukemia. Treatments are not inexpensive, and with a suppressed immune system, she's susceptible to any virus. Even just bringing her in, into the bank for like five minutes is like not safe. Like I have a mask for her, we have hand sanitizer, but that's only like 75% safe. Maya spent a week in the hospital around Mardi Gras, and although Patton has always been careful, the coronavirus has her on high alert. People washing their hands and using hand sanitizer, that's been a part of my life just because of my daughter for a long time. Like anything that I do really is just a risk. The risk of the spread is one the city is trying to mitigate too, although the eerie emptiness of one of New Orleans' biggest economic engines has many fearing what's next for tens of thousands of workers. It's terrifying. Like, I'm really worried about homelessness. I'm worried about uh, addiction rates skyrocketing and people relapsing. I'm worried about uh, mental health issues, you know, going through the roof. Now, Patton does have a side hustle, as she calls it, making art and skincare products. You can find links to her work on our website.